Hey guys, Chris Carlin here with Charge.io, taking a quick look at Corning's new Gorilla Glass inside this car. Let's take a look. We purchased this vehicle and we customized the full interior, particularly focusing on these three displays, all of which prominently feature Corning's Gorilla Glass. So we're trying to use Gorilla as a technology that enables more sophisticated displays, larger displays, adding more connectivity into the vehicle, and improving the aesthetics, which is what we'll get to with this guy in a moment. Yeah. So we clearly have a display in the steering wheel. We've got this large display across the dash, which can display a whole lot of information. And then this one in the center console, which is my personal favorite. This one especially is interesting. We have two things we've done to the glass. We've uh, introduced an anti-glare treatment. We actually chemically etched the glass to give you this sort of satiny finish that you see. It is additionally improved in the terms of its optics by having an anti-reflection coating. So this is actually a flat piece of glass that we laid down on here and simply pushed it into place. And since Gorilla is thin and strong, then I can bend it and the glass doesn't break and it still retains all the aspects of Gorilla. It's scratch resistant, it's impact resistant. It actually meets head form impact test requirements that automakers require. And it's just constrained at the top by this little clip and at the bottom by this clip down here. So 10 years down the road, if you wanted to and you pulled this clip off, this thing would pop right back to flat. Gorilla can actually bend significantly more than we've got it bent in the vehicle right now. This, this wide display is not really something you see out there today, but you could. And with Gorilla, since you know it's, it's durable, it's scratch resistant, then this will last the lifetime of the vehicle, maintain the nice clean characteristics of glass. And from a safety and a regulatory perspective, this passes all the head form impact test requirements. So in an accident, it is actually safe to have this display all the way across the vehicle. And in theory, this is all a full touch screen as well, right? So you can right. even have games for the passenger sure. or their board or Absolutely. A DVD playing, something like that. Right, yeah. So if I can get it to fire up, I sometimes have to call somebody to help. There you go. So Conveniently you working away. straight away. Right. Very cool. So you should be the one watching it. While I'm driving, I'm going to focus on the road. Um, but yeah, so you know anything you want, and you got a whole lot of real estate to play with here. So the sunroof is what's called a suspended particle display, or SPD. So that's a layer that's added between the two pieces of glass in this laminated roof and in the, the rear window behind us. So if I hit this, the charge will change across that roof. Significantly dims. That's very cool. And then I want to go back, I just hit the button again, and here comes the sun. Very nice, very nice indeed. So it's Gorilla Glass on all, all glass you see in the car. Uh, it's all Gorilla Glass on the displays inside the vehicle. Actually, quite literally, all the glass you see from the inside of the vehicle on the windows is Gorilla Glass. It, it's all laminated, so it's all two it's layers of glass. Yeah. So Gorilla's on the inside, normal window glass, or what we call soda lime glass on the outside. That's the same kind of glass that's in windshields today. And this is super light, right? Because you've already cut down 40 pounds just on the glass alone. Correct. And then carbon fiber off for the rest of the body. Absolutely, right. Yeah, so 40 pounds is an enormous amount of weight to take out of a vehicle. Lightweighting has been a significant trend for automakers for um, a decade or so to improve fuel efficiency, reduce greenhouse gas emissions. For electric vehicle makers, you can drive the vehicle the same range, but take batteries out because you've got less weight to lug around. And it's all above the belt line, right? It's all, well, it's all above sort of shoulder height in a vehicle. And that makes a big difference, especially for a performance vehicle, because that center is where your center of gravity is affected. So you take weight out, the higher it is, the more important it is, right? You take weight out of a roof, that's a big deal. You take weight out of any of the glass, it's a big deal, because the center of gravity is lower, improves handling, improves performance, acceleration, deceleration. For taller body vehicles with a higher belt line, like an SUV, gives you some advantage for uh, rollover resistance. So when does Corning get into the automotive business and start rolling these out? Right now. Right. Now. Actually, before right now. Before, <laughs> okay. Yeah, we have. There, there are a few vehicles on the road today that have this technology integrated into them. We're working with most every auto OEM in the world. Uh, we have active development programs with a number of them. So in the next few years, you'll definitely see more vehicles on the road with, well, definitely with the interior technology as well as the glazing technology or the window technology. 
Looking forward to seeing more Gorilla Glass rolling around on the roads and not just in our pockets. So are we. Fantastic. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Appreciate it. Yeah. Cheers. Thanks.